New York. To win a claim in this fiercely competitive city is the seal of approval for most musicians, but few make it. One who has been accepted into the charmed circle at the top is the Canadian pianist Glenn Gould. When Gould is preparing for a recording session or concert in New York, he heads first for Steinway's on 57th Street. Down in the basement, a whole troupe of famous concert grands are kept ready for the great pianists of our time. Here, Gould hopes to find an instrument that will have exactly the tone and action he wants. with a rare sensitivity to sound. And already at the age of three, it was discovered that he had absolute pitch. When such gifts are matched with musical intelligence and a fortunate physical endowment, and capped with many years of hard labor, there may emerge a musician of some stature. And such rare persons enter a very special world with its own peculiar problems, difficulties, rewards, and professional preoccupations. What you really need is me out at Flushing as an idea man. <laughs> I mean, after all, uh, the piano went out of fashion as a family convenience at the turn of the century. What you've yes, got to think yes. of now is a, is a mid 20th century piano, something with, with all these extras that you How just described. Garbage disposal. Bill. Well, actually, what I would like is, uh, is a piano with a small, oh, say, 25 horsepower engine underneath it that it could move itself about, you know. Oh, well, well, that's well, an we excellent idea. We just say, go to Carnegie Hall. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll eliminate all this trucking monkey business. Can't open the door. Cut yeah. Cottage costs down to at least five dollars a throw. Yeah. Tell me something. Uh, you have upstairs the the old Hoffman chair, which I've seen. It's out of the factory now. Well, yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Which uh, looks completely formidable to me. I don't know how anybody could sit on it. But apart from Hoffman and me, yes. Um, who else has had a special chair? Anybody? Paderewski. Paderewski. Yeah. Yeah. Adjustable or just? No, it was no. a special chair. It had a, a leather seat and it had a high back, a support. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as a matter of fact, it has fringe with little balls and little tassels around it. Yeah. <laughs> and both the uh, Paderewski chair and the Hoffman chair are out in the factory. Mm -hmm. and are, uh, then you testing have the uh, wearable. And how much am I bid for this? Well, Glenn, I'll tell you, uh, I think seriously that this Chair this should, should be willed to right. Steinway and Sons. I tell you, this would be a Don't speak of will, <laughs> 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 Well, I didn't mean to that. I yeah. meant that you should will it to us, yeah. not in your will and uh, your last will and yes, testament, yes. but, uh, but we'd be delighted be to have it in our magnificent this is going to be in the This is going to be in the Memorabila of Steinway Yana. The Memorabila of the greats. The seats of the immortals. Is this a Morris chair? We can do that. That would be marvelous. We'd get them all lined up and take a beautiful photograph sometime, and that we will have it entitled The Seats of the Immortals. <laughs> yes. Glenn Gould, Joseph Hoffman, Ignaz Paderewski. I think that's right. terrific. Paderewski. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs>